In J main, the problem on finding number of real roots of a given equation is very common. And using graphical method, you can easily solve these problems in less than 30 seconds. To use graphical method for this problem, the first step will be that replace 2 raised to x with alpha. So if you do this substitution, then the left hand side will be 5 plus mod alpha minus 1. And on right hand side, you will get alpha into alpha minus 2. And now as you can see that this right hand side is a quadratic expression. So it will be a parabola. And on left hand side, we have a modulus function and we have linear expression inside that. So it will represent two straight lines. So here if you plot the graph of this function on right hand side, alpha into alpha minus 2. And let us say this is your alpha axis and this one is y axis. So if you plot the graph of this function, then basically you will get an upward parabola because coefficient of alpha square is positive and it will be passing through this point is 0, 0 and this term will become 0 when alpha is 2. So another point will be 2, 0. So this is the graph of function on right hand side and if we plot the graph of function on left hand side, so we have 5 plus mod alpha minus 1. So obviously we will get minimum value when alpha is 1, right? And when alpha is 1, the value of y will be 5. So this will be the vertex of that v-shaped curve. And from here you can draw one line in this direction and another line in opposite direction. So this is the graph of function on left hand side. And clearly you can see that these two graphs are intersecting at two points. Let us call these two points A and B. So there are two points of intersection between these two curves. And therefore for this second equation, for this equation in alpha, there must be two solutions. But here we have to be very careful because let us say that alpha 1 and alpha 2 are the roots of this second equation. Right. So clearly for point A, the x coordinate is negative. So let us say alpha 1 is the smaller root. So this alpha 1, this will be less than 0. And for point B, the x coordinate will be positive. So therefore alpha 2, this must be positive. Now let us say for equation 1, the roots are x1 and x2. Now because alpha is 2 raised to x, so therefore uh, 2 raised to x1, this will be alpha 1. And 2 raised to x2, this will be alpha 2. Now, because alpha 1 is a negative number, we cannot get any real roots for this equation. Right? There is no value of x1 for which 2 raised to x1 will be alpha 1 because alpha 1 is negative. And 2 raised to x2, this is alpha 2. So, from here, we'll get some real value of x2. Right? So, for this original equation in x, there will be only one real root. And hence, the right answer is option B.